In 1942, a man called Barnes Wallace has an idea. He will design a very special bomb. A bomb that will skip across water and destroy Nazi dams. It's one of the marvels of military engineering. But today, nobody knows exactly how Wallace did it. Its true brilliance can only be appreciated one way. Do it all over again, from scratch. Now an offbeat engineer from Cambridge University is joining forces with a rugged bush pilot from the wilds of Canada to rebuild the bomb and restage the raid. Every step of the way has been, gee, how do we make this work? What the f are they? What the f are they? If there's a problem on this next drop like this, the whole thing's gonna wind up being canceled. Can history be repeated? in Berlin handed the German government a final note stating that unless we heard from them by 11 o'clock a state of war would exist between us. I have to tell you Barnes Wallace is one of Britain's most talented aircraft designers and fiercely patriotic. And that consequently this country is at war with Germany. On the very day that war is declared he resolves to find an engineer's way of stopping it. It will take a rare breed of flyer to do this. The mission is almost suicidal. Bomb aimer Johnny Johnson is among them. The first thing that one noticed was the number of experienced air crews there. The number of people that had, had done their first tour some were in there, It works. 